Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to change windowsill level in Revit with detail calculation. So please follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to get all kinds of updates. Also hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all new videos. So let's get started. So first of all, what is windowsill level? The label between the base portion of the window and portion of the finished floor level above ground level is known as window sill level or it is also known as sill level. Now what is finished floor level? So finished floor level means this is the last stage of flooring and up to this level no flooring work is done. So this is finished floor level. Next, what is lintel level? The level between the top portion of the window frame and portion of the finished floor level is known as lintel level. Top of window frame to finished floor level is lintel level. On lintel level, door and window top are finished. Usually, lintel height is provided 7 feet. So, hope you understand what is window sill level and what is lintel level. Now, let's Start the calculation. So this is the window. Here window size is 60 inch to 36 inch. And the lintel height is 7 feet. Height of window is 36, 36 inch. Your height of window is 36 inch means 3 feet. 36 divided by 12, 33, uh, 3, 3 feet. Window sill level formula is lintel height minus window height. So uh, height of window 3 feet. Uh, lintel height 7 feet, so 7 feet minus 3 feet. So, window sill level is 4 feet. So, here on this window, window sill level should be 4 feet. Next window is 60 inch into 36 inch. So, window sill, uh, window sill level should be 7 feet. 7 feet is lintel height minus 3 feet. 3 feet is height of window. So, 7 feet minus 3 feet, it should be 4 feet. Next, ventilator window. Size of uh, ventilator window, window is 24 inch into 30 inch. So, height of ventilator is 30 inch. So, 30 inch means 2 feet and 6 inch. So, window uh, seal level, here seal level is 7 feet minus 2 feet 6 inch. 7 feet is lintel height minus 2 feet 6 inch is height of ventilator. This is lintel height 7 feet minus 2 feet 6 inch. So, seal, seal height is 4 feet and 6 inch. Next window is. 48 inch into 60 inch. So height of window is 60 inch. It is 5 feet 60 divided by 12 5 feet. So window sill level is 7 feet minus 5 feet. 7 feet is lintel height minus 5 feet height of window. So window sill level is 2 feet here. So next, next window is 48 inch into 60 inch. So height of window is 60 inch. 16 means 5 feet. So window sill level is 7 feet. 7 feet is lintel height minus 5 feet. So window sill level is 2 feet. 2 feet. So next window, it's same size 48 inch into 60 inch. So here also window sill level is should be 2 feet. Next window also same size 48 inch into 60 inch. Here also window sill level will be 2 feet. 2 feet. So this window, this is 60 inch into 60 inch. So height is same. 60 inch means 5 feet. So window sill level is 7 feet lintel height minus height of window 5 feet. So window sill level is 2 feet. So hope you understand this calculation. Now I will change the window sill level in Revit. So this is the calculation. Now this is the Revit. Here I will change the window sill level. So here sil click on this window. Select this window. Click here. Now this is the window. Window sliding double. You can see this is the size of window. 60 inch into 36 inch. 36 inch is the height of window. So window sill height here you can see. So here we need to change the window sill level here. Seal height here we need to change. So click here. This is height of window is 36 inch. Now this is the lintel level. So lintel level should be in the same level. Means 
at the same height. So here we need to change this height. So click here. Now here window sill level will be 4 feet. Now after changing this, click on this apply or click on outside. You can click on apply or click on outside. Now it's changed. You can see it's changed now. Next, this is this window on lintel level you can see. Now, I'll select this again. So, this is seal height is 4 feet now. Next, I'll select this window. This is 60 inch into 36 inch. So, here window seal height will be 4 feet. Seal height will be 4 feet, 7 feet minus 3 feet. So, this is 4 feet. Now click on outside or you can click on apply also. Now this is changed. Now this is the ventilator window. You can click on this ventilator. Now this is 24 inch into 30 inch. So we need to change this. Click here. Click here. Here it will be 4 feet and 6 inch. 4 feet 6 inch and click on outside. You can see. It's changed. This is 4 feet and 6 inch. Now select this window. This is 48 inch into 60 inch. Height is 60 inch. So uh, seal height will be height is 16. So seal height will be 2 feet. So I'll change this to 2 feet. 2 feet. And click on apply or simply click on outside. You can see all the uh, means lintel height is Lintel level in, is in same height. Now select this window. This is 48 inch into 60 inch. 60 inch height of window is 60 inch. So uh, seal height will be 2 feet. So both the uh, windows are same height. So I will select both the windows. Press control and select both the windows and change the seal height. Press the control key and select both the windows. Now seal height will be 2 feet here. Change the seal height. 2 feet instead of 3 feet. 2 feet. Click on outside. Now see both the lintel level. Lintel height changed here. Now select this window. This is 48 inch. This is 60 inch. So height is same. So I will select both the windows at a time as height is same. 60 inch so I'll select both the windows so press control key and select both the windows uh, seal height will be 2 feet so change the seal height you can see multiple types selected click here change the seal height it will be 2 feet now click on outside now we have changed all windows Select select this fixed window. You can see here. This is 24 inch into 72 inch. You can see this is. So 7 feet minus 6 feet. So it will be seal height will be 1 feet. You can see this is 1 feet. So 72 inch means 6 feet. So 7 feet minus 6 feet. Seal height will be 1 feet. So we have changed window sill level here so hope you understand how to change window sill level in revit hope you find this video helpful and if you find this video helpful then don't forget to like share and comment thank you for watching